My name's Jeff Costa. I've been coming to New Bridges for about three years, maybe a little more. Um, I come from a small town in California. About six years ago I moved up here. Um, I had met my wife Pam and we moved up here together as her family's here. And I guess the best way I can describe my life prior to coming to New Bridges and becoming saved was a, was a slow motion train wreck. Basically 40 years of cars crashing and creating more havoc of each crashing car. I uh, came from a, a family of just a mother. My father died when I was young. I was raised myself pretty much most of the time. Um, I grew up as an agnostic. My mother was also agnostic. I believed whatever the school had taught me. I had no... I always believed in a higher power, but I uh, never thought there was a God. And if there was, I thought he was mad at me. I lost my father and my leg and grew up with a pretty rough childhood. Um, always trying to prove myself. That's how I can describe my childhood. Always trying to be one better because, because of my handicap. Prior to meeting my wife, I had um, gone through many different addictions of cocaine, methamphetamines, uh, relationships, uh, sex addictions, and basically I would exchange one for another, always thinking that I was being sober for a little while, but in reality I was just trading addictions. Um, never really happy with who I was or where I was, always feeling empty. Somehow I managed to keep a job during all this time, and I held on to success and I had the, you know, the nice house with the white picket fence and somehow I just thought that that, that, that was happiness but in the mean, meanwhile I always knew something was missing from my life, something, something I just, just wasn't happy. Um, I had a job offer here that looked like it was going to be lucrative and it crashed pretty quickly. Um, so basically I found myself homeless with my mother-in-law. I found myself jobless, penniless. Um, I had collected many, many toys over the years. I had to sell them, had nothing. Um, I got to, had to be real humble, real quick. I looked around here for a job for a little while and I found one. I found one with a guy who, um, who is, walks with the Lord. And I didn't know what that meant, but I saw something in him. And, and he really drew me to wondering what he had that I was missing. He was so calm, he handled things so well. And he was so happy and confident. And everything he had, I wished I had. And He started to give me a little bit of the gospel of the word. And I, he would ask me questions and confuse me. And Boy. And then God orchestrated this plan so perfectly. He started to place many people in my life that were Christians. But I still, for some reason, was holding back. And then one day I was here at church during Brad's altar call, and he said something about faith as a mustard seed is all I needed. And I said, thought to myself, heck, I got that. And it just clicked. And since then, God has just worked in my life unbelievably. My life did a 180. Um, I became a business owner recently. I bought a home. Um, I got in the Word, I've studied the Word, I've grown closer to God, I've developed a better relationship with my wife and my children, and life is just better. I'm just happy now. And there's nothing missing anymore. I'm not perfect, and I never will be, but life is much more complete than it was, for sure. I was a hard case, because I had bullheaded knew everything. Nobody could tell me nothing I didn't know. So what it took was for God to create a master plan that only He could create to put the right cast of characters at the right times with the patience to answer my stupid questions. It, it really did. It took an entire master plan. Of, I had to get humble first. That was the real key. I had to stop worshiping what was around me as material and start listening to others around me talking about what God was.